Hello, my dear students. Uh, today we are having our fourth lesson, and we'll speak about Ukraine again. Uh, today's topic is seven natural wonders of Ukraine. So be ready to listen about different beautiful places, places to visit, and maybe you will put some of these names uh, into your wish list, into the list of places to travel to. So let's start. And we'll start with your homework. Let's check your homework. Uh, as I remember, uh, during my second lesson on this unit, you had a, a homework to do exercise number 5 on page 222. So the task was to turn the following sentences into the passive voice. Okay, let's check. Here is the formula of present perfect passive, have, has, plus being plus the third form of the verb. So let's try to turn these sentences from active voice into passive voice. First, has she found him? It's a bit difficult to work with questions. So first of all, let's try to turn this construction into just ordinary uh, sentence in passive voice. Has she found him? He has been found by her. He has been found by her. Now let's try to make a sentence. For getting a sentence, we have to transform this sentence. We have to put that auxiliary verb has uh, to the beginning of the sentence. It must be uh, in the first place. So <clears throat> I will get has he been found by her? Has he been found by her? Okay. Number two, have they noticed us? Uh, let's do the same. Let's first of all uh, make an ordinary sentence. Us. So we speak about us. The new subject will be we. We have been noticed by them. We have been noticed by them. Replace have to the beginning of the sentence and we get have we been noticed by them. It's a question now. We have been noticed. Have we been noticed? Number three. The government has repaired the road. A new subject is the road. The road has been repaired by the government. Okay. The students has learned lessons. Lessons, plural lessons, they have. Lessons have been learned by the students. Number five, the school has ordered new books. New books, they new books, have been ordered by the school. New books have been ordered by the school. Number six, the cousin has prepared the meal. The meal, eat, the meal has been prepared by my cousin. Number seven. My pen friend has sent the email to me. The email, the email has been sent to me by whom? By my pen friend. Number eight. The children have eaten all the strawberries. All the strawberries have been eaten by the children. And number nine. I have downloaded a very nice song from the internet. A very nice song. It has been downloaded from the internet by me. So check your homework, please. And if all your sentences are correct, that means that you have got this topic and you will get excellent mark at the end of it. Okay, so this was present perfect passive. But please don't forget about present perfect active. Let's do the one more task, this task. Try to find a mistake in every sentence. And as I can guess, the mistake will be in grammar forms. Number one. Have you did your homework about Ukraine? Have you did your homework? Something strange is here. Have you did? I don't like how it sounds. If we build perfect form we must use have and the third form of the verb so have you done 
must be here. Okay, who haven't read the text from your textbook? Who haven't read the text? Who? Who is always the third person? So, who hasn't read the text? Number three. We have spoke about climate of Ukraine recently. We have spoke about climate. There's something strange is here. So we have, I don't like this word. We need to use have and the third form of the verb. We have spoken about climate of Ukraine recently. Oh, we didn't study new words yet. We didn't study new words yet, past simple, didn't study, but the verb yet. Yet means поки що. So, up to now. It's better to use perfect tense here, present perfect. So, let's, uh, let's change this didn't study to haven't studied. We haven't studied new words yet. I have visited many beautiful places in Ukraine already. I have visited, have visited, it seems everything is okay here. So what is wrong? I have visited many beautiful places in Ukraine already. Maybe the word order is better to put already here between have and visited. I have already visited many beautiful places. And I have never gone to Askania Nova. I have never gone to some place. Mm, it sounds a bit strange. It sounds a bit strange for me because we use go. Uh, when we use the verb go, it means someone went somewhere but hasn't come back yet. So we use gone, gone, uh, uh, and the word go, Pishov. Маючи на увазі, пішов і не повернувся. Для ситуації, коли хтось пішов, поїхав і повернувся, у нас є інше дієслово – be, побував. So it's better to put here I have never been to Ascania Nova. Okay, so let's look at our last sentence. I have never been to Ascania Nova. Ascania Nova. Have you ever heard this name? Ascania Nova. Hmm. Look at these pictures. One of these pictures is taken in Ascania Nova. Ascania Nova is a natural preserve where you can find a lot of wild animals, uh, rare trees, beautiful flowers, plants. So this picture was taken in Ascania Nova, of course. But other pictures demonstrate us other beautiful places of Ukraine. Uh, these places are so beautiful that they want the title the natural wonders of Ukraine. And today we are going to speak about natural wonders of Ukraine. There are seven of them. So let's start. First of all, I uh, would recommend you, I would offer you to watch this video, video about the most beautiful places of Ukraine. So in, if our, if my old computer allows us, we'll do that. Okay, so let's watch. And the first place is the highest mountain of Ukraine, Hoverla. I have never been to the next to this place. Baturin. I know this place, I have been to it. It's a Cossacks, ancient Cossacks capital. Canyon, Alexivsky uh, Canyon. Vodilsky top tree. So green, so green, blue and beautiful. Lakes. I've been there. I've been to one of the lakes. It's a good place for having rest. Tarhankutski Pivostri Peninsula. 
mm, I have never been to this place, I can say nothing about it. Sinavir Lake. Tunnel of Love. Well, Ukraine is the most beautiful country in the world. I agree. I agree and I like our country, so I think it's very beautiful. I haven't seen all the countries to, to say that it's the most beautiful country, but I'm sure it's very beautiful. Okay, and for our further work we'll need your textbooks, so please take your textbooks. Open them on page 223. It's lesson 77. Don't look at these numbers, just look for these pictures. Exercise number one, the first exercise. Okay, and if you are ready, we'll start our work. So, <clears throat> we have to match pictures with the names. Well, what about the first picture? The first picture, I think it's easy. It's Ascania Nova, as I told you. Next one. Next one is the maybe biggest lake in Ukraine. It's a Shatsky Lake, one of the Shatsky Lakes. It's Svites Lake. The next one is the maybe the clearest lake. The water there is very cold. It's forbidden to swim in this lake. It's Sinevir Lake. Number four. It looks like Granitno Stepove Pobuzje, but the picture is not clear, so I cannot be sure. Number five. Number five looks like Podilski Toftri, but these places are very familiar for me, and they are very, very similar, so I may be wrong. I'm afraid I may be wrong. Next, number six. Number six, this one is, what is left, is Dnistrovsky Canyon. And the last is definitely Marble Cave. Marble Cave, Marmorova Pechera. So, these places won the title of the Seven Natural Wonders of Ukraine. And mm, they are really beautiful. So, let's go further. Uh, let's go on. Uh, exercise number two on page 223. Let's read this text about seven natural wonders of Ukraine. Ready? Ready, steady, go. Okay. So, Askania Nova, a natural preserve in the land of Khersonshina. It covers an area of 11,000 hectares. It is mostly steppe with more than 400 species of grass and flowers. The section of the preserve, the park, spreads over an area of about 200 hectares and consists of seven, uh, several parts. There are about 150 species of trees and bushes in the park. More than 60 species of birds and many species of steppe mammals inhabit the park and the preserve. Among the birds you can see white and black swans, flamingos, cranes, grey partridges and larks. A step eagle. Camels, llamas, zebras, and wild horses can be found here too. Tourists have a chance to travel across certain sections of the preserve on foot, on horseback, or in tourist buses. Dnitrovsky Canyon is a 250 km stretch of the Dniester River from the Zolotalipa River to the Zbruch River. In the villages located in the canyon, there are old churches and cave monasteries, ruins of fortresses, and other historical and architectural landmarks. Svites Lake is the biggest and deepest lake in Ukraine. It spreads over a territory of 2,672 hectares. Svites is one of the Shatsky lakes famous for their great scenic natural beauty. The water in the lake is clean and has a nice, soft taste. Podilsky Toftre, the land of Melnichina. 
It is a national park. The top tree is a range of low hills that can be seen from the surrounding plain. Similar geological features have been found in Great Britain and the USA. Mineral waters of the area are known for their excellent quality. This area includes several places in the land of Mekolaevshina, which create a rocky canyon of the river Pivdennibuch. The island of Harad attracts tourists as a place which used to be one of the famous Cossack centers. Marble Cave It is the most beautiful cave among other natural caves in the Crimean mountains. The cave has several halls which are connected by corridors of over 2,000 meters in length. About one kilometer of corridors and caves has been opened for tourists. Sinever Lake the land on Tres Carpathia. It is the most attractive lake of the Ukrainian Carpathians. It's located 989 meters above the sea level. Its water area is over 4 hectares, its maximum depth is 22 meters and the average depth is over 8 meters. The lake is over 10,000 years old. Right in the center of the lake you can see a tiny island. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's look through this text again and write some words uh, down into your vocabularies with translation or without translation as you want, it's up to you, uh, but you have to you have to have this list of words because all of them will be in your test work next lesson. Okay, so let's look through the text again. Uh, to cover, to cover, pokrivati, zaimati, you should know this word. Hectares. It's clear. Hectares, hectar. Step. Step. It's Ukrainian word. Species. Species means vid, vidi, species. Preserve. Preserve, zbereženje, zberihati, or zapovidnik. Mammals. Mammals, savci. Te z rozredu biologi, te z uroke biologi. Mammals. Inhabit, naseliati, and the birds, the birds, white and black, swans, swan, lebit, flamingo, flamingo, crane, crane, juravel, partridge, kuripka, lark, jaivronok, eagle, orel, camel, llama, zebra, horse, I think you know these words. Pay attention to to go on foot, on horseback, and in tourist buses. Next word: canyon, canyon, canyon ushelina. Cave, pechera. Cave, pechera. Next range, range of, range diapason, assortment, varyuvatisya, skurishe assortment of low hills, hills, pagorby, and plain, plain, prosty, rivnin, rivninny. Then quality, quality, jakist, excellent quality. Marble, marble, marmor, and tiny, tiny, krichitny. Okay, let's do another exercise from your textbook. Page 225, exercise 3, give words for the given definitions. I took 10 words from the text. Preserve, step, mammals, canyon, cave, wave, plain, eagle, waterfall and marble. And we have to match these words to the definitions. <clears throat> so the first is done for us. An area where plants, animals, minerals, etc. are protected. A natural preserve. Okay, ready? If you're ready, let's start. Number two. A large, flat area of land with grass and very few trees. So imagine uh, some territory without trees, with only grass and flowers on it. What is that? So the first preserve, it's step. Mm -hmm. 
Number three, a type of animal that feeds milk to its young and that usually has hair or fur covering most of its skin. Animals which drink milk, which drink milk that feed milk to their young. What are they? Mammals, of course. A large bird that has very good eyesight and that kills other birds and animals for food. In our list, there is only one animal left. It's a bird. It's eagle. Eagle or owl. Number five. A deep valley with steep rock sides and often a stream of river flowing through it. It's canyon. Six. A large hole that was formed by natural processes in the side of a cliff or hill or under the ground. A hole in the ground, a hole in the hill, it's cave, definitely. 7. A large area of flat land without trees. Flat land without trees, it's lane. Okay. An area in a stream or river where running water falls down from a high place. Water falls down. It's waterfall. Waterfall, vodospad. Number nine. A type of white stone that is commonly used in building. It's marble. And an area of moving water that is raised above the main surface of the ocean, lake, it's wave, wave, villa. Okay. So, uh, the description of different beautiful places in your textbooks uh, is rather informative, but it's not that beautiful. To create some beautiful story, to make your story more emotional, you should use more describing words, more describing adjectives. Look at these describing adjectives. They can help you to speak about some beautiful place, some place that touches you. Amazing, countless, divine, endless, fr fresh, theological, great, heavenly, hidden, infinite, innumerable. Look uh, through this text. Beautiful, grassy, spectacular, picturesque. Delightful. I would like you to study this list, to look through this list, uh, to write some words into your vocabulary. Let it be 20 words. 20 words that you like, 20 words that you choose. And we'll need these words for next lessons. I will tell you when we will use them. Okay? And now it's time for your homework for the next lesson. So your home assignment for the next lesson will be, you should read exercise 2 on page 233, read it again, learn the new words, and uh, read the article in Wikipedia, the link is on my blog, uh, about, the, the, about those places, those seven wonders of the, uh, so seven natural wonders of Ukraine, uh, about the story of this contest that chose those seven objects as the, the best wonders, the most wonders. Uh, and just maybe to look through more pictures, because it's not good to study about something without watching videos or, or seeing pictures. Right. Complete the text with the sentences AG. When you start exercise 2 on page 223, you will see that it ends with a table of for seven passages. You should put these passages back into the text. The next, our grammar work. Don't forget to fill in the form. There is a special form on present perfect passive. It will be your self-work and you'll get marks for doing that self-work. So be attentive, be careful and think well while doing that exercise. Okay, that's all. Stay at home and study online. Bye-bye. See you next lesson. Goodbye.